four roommates, Brian and Arlene, taking care of the basic needs of everyday life can often be challenging. When they receive something in the mail, which is typically how they receive information, it just sort of sits because they're not really sure what to do with it. When Brian's parents passed away 12 years ago, it was his brother Dave who was left with his care. Things like doctor's appointments and transportation and paperwork and bureaucracy and eating and cleaning and housing, all of these things that most people do without a second thought, you've got to put a lot of time and energy in. Hi, Brian. How are you? Good. Now it's Reina Tomasovic, a case manager with Jewish Family Services, who has that time and energy to pitch in. Can you do it everything by yourself or you need some help from somebody? For example, she makes sure that he has nurses who provide medication three times a day. She makes sure that he gets all the doctor's appointments that he needs to. And being disabled, he has a few more doctor's appointments than you and I. She makes sure that all the paperwork is completed on time and all the interviews and meetings occur for all of his entitlement programs. Right, that makes me feel safe. Okay, take care now. You okay, bye-bye now. Bye. Safe and supported is how both Brian and Arlene describe their relatively new lives at Deerwood Crossing Senior Residences, an affordable apartment complex built by JFS Housing. It feels, it feels like home. When, when you're in a home, it feels comforting. Deerwood is just one of several apartment complexes in the Milwaukee area which partner with Jewish Family Services to provide support for its residents. JFS case managers and volunteers are familiar faces here, coordinating the often complex lives and needs of some of those who live in the apartments. It's that philosophy of giving that prompted the creation of Jewish Family Services more than 145 years ago. Then called the Hebrew Relief Society, the organization helped immigrants and families already here with the basic necessities of life, assistance they could always count on. Today, Jewish Family Services also provides mental health counseling, works with individuals with developmental disabilities or mental illness, and offers care for seniors. And as the needs of the Milwaukee community continue to grow, so too do the services offered by JFS. Oh, hi, hi Stacy. JFS hi. case manager Stacy Sievert was there to help after Clara Jo became seriously ill and lost her home in a fire. Stacy moved Clara into her new home at Bradley Crossing Supportive Housing Community the newest affordable housing apartment complex in which JFS offers its support. She helped me get furniture. She made sure that I was moved in okay. She made sure that everything was okay with me. She kept calling, checking, see did I have enough food. Clara, a former nursing assistant, not only has a new home, now she has a new life. I love all the activity, I tried to be a part of everything that goes on. And that's one of the goals at Bradley Crossing, to make all residents, those with and without a disability, feel that they belong to a community. I have met a lot of sweet people, old and young. Then the young man down the hallway, Kenny, he helps everybody around here. He called me auntie. I found peace and I'm happy. And I love this place. Best place I ever lived, yes. And Clara cannot imagine life without Stacy. She's a sweet person to me and I need her. <laughs> okay. You be well until I see you next time. All right. For those like Clara, as well as Brian and Arlene, Life can still be challenging, but it's also fulfilling. If they didn't have these services, I don't know where they would be. You need an agency like JFS 
to be able to be the advocate for these people because there really is no other advocate out there who can do such a good job. Clara can now spend time planning what she'll plant in Bradley Crossing's new garden. Arlene can work on her jewelry and Brian can spend time with the Special Olympics. Right now I'm getting ready to go to St Stevens Point for swimming. Then after that will be t-ball for me. Then volleyball, basketball. And he doesn't want you to forget his countless hours of volunteer work. Brian can enjoy life because he's not stressed worrying about these things. I can enjoy life because I'm not worrying about Brian. And the real bonus is that Brian is absolutely contributing to the community.